Hey Deckers, Hall of Torment made it into the most played games on Steam Deck last month so we wanted to make sure that we have it covered on the channel with some full gameplay and an overview of what this game is. If you were into Vampire Survivors then this is naturally a progression. This has so many abilities not just during the matches but so much more progression that you'll see in just a second. And one of the major changes that I found with this one is that it does actually seem to be more of a twin stick style. So you can aim with your right joystick while moving around with the left. So you can be a little bit more strategic. However, this one does seem far more brutal in the amount of achievements you need to progress. As you can see here, it is the aim of the game to survive as long as possible. And around 15 to 20 minutes is my best so far with the main achievements really kicking in over the 20 minute mark. You've got one hero to choose from from the offset and you do unlock the archer fairly quickly. But there are so many achievements and also extras on this one. So you've got blessings, which are similar to the upgrades in Vampire Survivors. But you've also got a few extras. You actually have armor in this one. So you have all your different equipment types as well to be able to upgrade and really push through the halls of torment. Now I've unlocked two maps so far. But the amount of achievements and quests in this really are staggering. And it doesn't really tell you a lot about them as you unlock them and as you unlock some more pop up so you can see that the lighter squares with nothing in them are potentially more unlocks for each of these levels looking through them there is around 201 quests in total and there is around 10 maps so far although i've not managed to progress past the second one after a few hours of gameplay as you can see things get pretty hectic there's not a huge amount in the way of graphic settings but capping this at 30 frames per second is definitely the best for the Steam Deck and will get you around 5 to 6 hours of gameplay. If you don't cap it, you won't get more than 40 to 50 frames per second anyway and it does get around the 30 range when things get really chaotic and it will reduce your battery life down to around the 3 to 4 hour mark. So capping it at 30 on the deck itself is definitely the best way to play this one. Let us know if you're going to be diving into Halls of Torment and where you think it will be in the most played next month. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.